howdy everybody from Austin, Texas, y'all. This is Judith Sebesta. I serve as the Executive Director of the Digital Higher Education Consortium of Texas. And I'd like to thank Creative Commons for giving me the opportunity to share our Texas Learn OER quick lightning tour this morning. Texas Learn OER is a training that was adapted from ACC Learn OER by Carrie Gitz, the head librarian and associate professor at Austin Community College. And she adapted this for us after she had created it as her capstone project for the 2018 to 2019 Spark Open Education Leadership Program. We launched this training in August of 2020. Of course, it is licensed CC BY. And it was built on a Google site. So it actually, you can adapt it from the original Google Doc or from the Google site as well. And let me just drop into the chat here the link to that you see there on the screen so that you can go to it yourself since this tour is going to be so quick. Here's a screenshot of the home page of the training and you can see that there are 10 modules leading to a final assessment, which I will talk about here a little bit more in just a moment. And I have two slides that include the learning outcomes for Texas Learn OER, defining OER, explaining the rationale for their adoption and use, explaining the differences between the six currently available CC licenses, identifying repositories and other resources for finding relevant OER. So you can see it's kind of a, of a OER 101 and it can be adapted to any local context. Using tools and criteria to evaluate OER, recognize steps and associated criteria for adapting and creating OER with, of course, proper attribution and licensing, creating an open educational resource, and then what we have that's different from the original training that Carrie had created, we have a module that is focused on Texas legislation, policy and practice, the current landscape of, of OER in Texas, and to recognize the different Texas legislation that has been passed on OER. We recently updated this to include the new OER text, which is our statewide OER repository. You can, for free, earn a certificate of completion for completing Texas Learn OER. Oops, sorry, let me go back to that. Trigger, trigger happy there on my finger. Final assessment completion of 80% or higher is required, but you can take that assessment as many times as you want. And once you pass it, you will get a certificate of completion that you could submit to the proper entity for some professional development credits or continuing education credit. So far, we have had 34 who have completed the training and earned the certificate. And before I finish, I just wanna give a shout out to our Texas Learn OER peer reviewers. We were um, you know, very careful to select a, a variety of experts, both in Texas and outside of Texas, and maybe some of you recognize some of these great names, and they were good enough to um, help us with the review of Texas Learn OER. And just for the future, we are having a kickoff meeting in January with Carrie Gitz, to begin talking about Texas Learn OER 2.0. Questions? Thank you, Judith. Uh, the floor is open for questions. Uh, folks, feel free to either type your question in chat or you can unmute yourself and ask Judith directly. And thank you, Memo. <laughs> Appreciate that. Um, this is uh, Hugh here. I have a question about how much uh, uptake you've had and how um, how many people have taken the course and kind of what your plans are for the next um, next year or two years, et cetera. You know, I know that I know that thirty four individuals have completed the the training and earned the certificate. I, I actually didn't look and see the current number of who has accessed the training. But one thing is, I, I'm glad you asked that because one very exciting thing is that we're starting to see uptick in adaptation of this, which of course is exactly what we intentioned with the CC BY license. And just yesterday I learned that another, that a university in um, Texas, Rice University, many of you may have heard of it down in Houston, they have adapted it and they've called it uh, OWL, which is their mascot, OWL Learn OER. So we're gonna start trying to track those who have adapted this. And so if you choose to, please don't hesitate to let us know. I've also talked with North Dakota, one of the states in the US about potentially adapting it for their state as well. Um, but I need to go back and look at the stats to see how many have actually accessed it. Oh, what do you think will be different? Oh, if I have time, I'll just mention that 
you know, this includes a variety of artifacts and artifacts and assets, including videos. We would like to increase the number of videos available. Right now, there are none that focus on Texas specifically. So we would like to kind of include some more of those. And I just think that so much has happened since this was developed in, in the sphere of OER that we would like to include um, some information, particularly about OER sustainability, because there's been a lot of work in that area. We're holding a webinar next month. Please contact me if you're interested in hearing more about that on OER sustainability. So just, you know, making sure that we update it, it continuously to include the latest, because things are ex in, in an exciting way, always changing in our field. Thanks for that question. Oh, <laughs> it's, I was, my, it was so quick. We have time for other questions. Let's see. Trying to see if there's anything else here. Oh, yes, and those are planning to remix it. Oh, Sybil, thank you. I'm so glad to hear that. That is great to hear. <laughs>